and welcome to the new video and in this video I want to show you this one more sheet which helps you to do the chart selection if you remember yesterday I showed you one very long sheet from Andy Krabu uh, where he has shown in different scenarios like you have to do comparative analytics or you have distribution what type of chart you will going to use but this is a good one pager I also figured it out which I think you it will be very helpful so for the link for this I will keep it in the description and this has been created by Damola so you can come over here and uh, look more uh, inspirational visualization from Damola with that uh, the good part is that uh, first thing first is all the charts in one single sheet that means it is very easy to keep it like a bookmark or a handbook for you uh, or if you, even if you want to print it. Uh, the another good part about this is that uh, for example in the comparison chart which is over time if I just expand it to help you comparison chart over time cyclical data you know you, this is a live chart this is not an image but a live chart and down below you can see there is a link for the description right so you can come and in, and uh, interact with this workbook so the way it has been created is a four different categories right you want to do a comparison among the items or over time if among the items you have two variables per item then you can use this chart right and I'll show you how you can download and interact with this book so you have two items if you have many categories sort of a trellis chart then uh, one variable per item but many categories so one category second category and the bar chart but if you have few categories then you can show it like this right but if you have over time you have this radial chart you have the line chart you have the column chart and the multiple line charts for this if you are trying to visualize something related to the distribution then uh, you have these three different chart option like uh, column histogram line histogram and a scatter plot also for the relationship you have the scatter plot and the bubble plot where here the bubbles are of same size but here bubbles are of different size based on the uh, based on the value right also finally the composition related chart if you have uh, something like uh, uh, composition which is changing over time then uh, you have these different stack chart 100% stack chart or a normal stack chart the 100% stack area chart or the normal stack area chart but if you have the comp composition which is static right then you can show it into this sort of a don pie chart which is which is represented as a donut chart or the waterfall chart very famous waterfall chart to clearly show how the final values are or the high of the final bar is is coming after you know looking at several different values which is contributing to it and then components of components in this case stack 100% column chart with some components and finally the tree map is uh, the visualization or the chart that uh, you can use so something you know you know about the chart but not really sure which one to use in that scenario it will be useful and uh, if you want to look at how any of how uh, a particular chart is being created like this bubble chart or this one or this one then you can come over here click this click on the tableau workbook and click on the download once you will download it will going to download the twbx sheet which will be like this right and then what you can do is you have these different uh, sheets okay you can come over here and you can go to the sheet this is the sheet uh, this is basically the different data sets that's been used and you can look at the configuration right uh, that is being used you can come back and let's say you want to look at this one you come over here you click on go to the sheet this is the sheet right in which the chart is being created what data set is used what are the variables that are used to create this chart and you can create it with that so that is also i wanted to show you that not just the interactive playbook online but you can also download it in for your tableau um, the, the tableau desktop that you have or the tableau application that you have and open it up with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.